Hello, welcome to Psych. Now, way back when, in uh, an episode of Three Horror Games, we played the demo of Psych, um, which was actually okay. Uh, it it was good, but it, it intrigued me enough to kind of get the full game when it came out. But the new game is the full game is out. It came out a couple of days ago on the tenth of September. Uh, Psych is a psychological horror thriller that makes use of mental illness, especially post-traumatic stress disorder. We'd like to point out that we take mental illness very seriously, and this game dramatizes the issue. Dramati dramatizes the issue, better English than I have. Uh, we respect illnesses of all kinds and in no way wish to portray them in a false light. We do not want to hurt or offend those affected. This game contains strong images, jump scares, triggers, psychological horror, blah, blah, blah. Medical conditions is blah, 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 entirely fictional. Excellent. Uh, Psych is our first big title and we thank you for being a part of its early access, apparently. With Psych, we wanted to tell an innovative, immersive and scary story. We have consciously decided to publish in early access because we want to constantly improve the game together with you and the rest of the community. Please expect bugs during the gameplay. Even though we polished almost every corner of the game, we take all feedback to heart and hope that you will enjoy Psych. Excellent. Well, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I'll have a good time. And I hope it's uh, it's a good experience. I like that they put that on the intro. Uh, so you do know that this, this is not the complete game. Uh, this is the early access version, 0.1.0. Okay, cool. Let's get into it. Let's go new game. I'm excited to see what, what's going to happen in this game. It's now been a whole year since I've seen my family. After the accident, I was in hospital for a very long time. However... There was none nearby, so I had to be placed in one in the next town. Unfortunately, I can't remember the accident either, and I only know that I drove off the road in a car. Remember this bit? Because of this accident, I developed a behavioural disorder. More precisely, a post-traumatic stress disorder, which made me imagine things and caused me to behave uncontrollably. So I was transferred from the hospital directly to the nearest clinic for mentally disturbed people. No visitors were allowed there. Not even my own family. That's a bit harsh. It took me almost the whole year to deal with the behavioural disorder. And even now, it isn't normal. So I'll probably have to live with it until further notice. They didn't want to talk to me about the exact causes and said that such disorders can often occur in such accidents. Anyway... The day after tomorrow is my little sister Sam's birthday. She'll be 16. So, I thought that on the day of my release, I would meet Sam directly and we would go to our parents' house to celebrate her birthday. She called me right after my release and said that she'd found a park nearby where we can meet. It's already quite late, so I have to hurry. Cool, so uh, I remember that from the demo. Uh, so this is where the demo um, kicked off and kicked off and started. Um, oh, a new message? From Sam, perhaps? Right, it's cool. So I got I got my phone. Uh, press R to open the messenger. Gonna be there soon. Great, can't wait. Alex, uh, where are you? Okay, cool. So we got a, we got a text from my sister Sam. She's 16. Um... Yeah, so I, I know I know what happens up to a point because I played in the demo, but um, for the sake of you guys, I won't. I'm not going to spoil it. Sam, that's not Sam. Did I see that before? I can't remember. Okay, cool. So we got we've unlocked sh uh, shift to sprint. Uh, it didn't work before, so now I'm glad that we've got a bit of a, a sprint mechanic on the go. Construction site, street workout. Hang on. Uh, right, okay, so we haven't got any more messages. Entrance. What's down here? Yeah, I think I played it in the first ever three horror games on the channel. What's my objective? Did I have to follow the guy with the hood? Where's my sister? Vaged minus Schwester. Uh, what's it? What's this? Chess. The game of chess. Very interesting. All right, ponds up this way. I seem to remember from the demo it was the pond. It's a very big park. Where am I going? Is this? How, does this serve as a flashlight? Hello? Just take a picture of me. Am 
Memorial of Jasmine Singer. What's this on the floor? I got what the my message. Hang on. What's going on? Oh, it's your PTSD. All right. What have we got here? Memories. Hang on. Can I open the book? Wait. I want to. I want to read it. Can I read it? It's just. It's just. Oh, it's just a memory. Okay. 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 All right. It's just a memory. Oh, there's a person there. What the? Or... Yeah, I remember this. Emily, married woman, was last seen with her husband and common son. Common son? Jack in the park near the clinic for mentally disturbed people. According to witnesses, Emily also went to the park alone at night to sing near the pond. Uh, when a witness asked her why she sang down there, she replied <clears throat> that it calmed her down after every argument with her husband. In the view of this, her husband disappeared with their son without trace. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. Uh, Alright. Now, what's your game? Okay. What's going on? Like, what? I need to answer my phone. It's a bit weird. Yeah, this is the note that I found in the demo. This is the grave of the... Uh, yeah, so the mother's dead. The one who sang by the pond. I'm a goddamn murderer and I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't really didn't mean it. Please believe me. I'm so pissed that you kept this from me. When I came to you, you were already, I guess, dead. My God, Emily, I'm so sorry. I can never make it up to you, but I promise I'll take care of Jack with all my strength. I'm such a bad father. Now Jack will have to go out without a mother and it's all because of me. I wish, even though I know it won't happen, that we will see each other again in the next life. Hope you're well in heaven. All right. I've got a feeling the phone box is here, around this way. I hope so. I mean, I've been walking around for it. What's going on with my phone? Is this meant to be happening? Something odd is going on. Phone booth. Down here. Because that's where... I, I think that's where you started in the demo. That's why I was a little bit confused. There we are. Everything's fine now. That's a bit weird. I think there's a phone there's a phone booth down just down here. Here we are, okay. Awesome, alright. Uh join the abstinence club. Call me. What do you mean call you? I don't know what I'm entering. Oh, hang on. There's a there's a piece of paper here. So, do I need that? Current quest: find your sister. Wait, is it? I don't know where we're meeting. Where are we meeting? What's that noise? Down here, maybe. Oh, this, this, I think this area was, um, was locked off last time. Oh, flipping heck. This is going nuts again. This looks like the birthday card for Sam. I remember visiting the stores a year ago to buy this exact card. Okay, well, I found two out of three memories. I mean, someone keeps ringing me, but I can't, I can't really answer the phone. Okay, it won't let me, it just keeps flashing. Do I need to find three, three memories in this pot? Who the hell are you? Mate, there's something dodgy going on in this park. It's a random tire. This looks like the tire of my must. Ah, oh, my head. Oh, it's another memory. I remember taking Sam for a spin in my Mustang. Wait, where's the phone? 
Isn't there. Isn't that Sam's smartphone? Well, well. If it isn't little Alex. Who is this? Where is Sam? Don't worry. Sam is with me. Sam? Who the hell are you and where have you taken her? I won't tell you until you do something for me. At the entrance of the park, there is a power box that you must manipulate for me. You must not run, nor hang up. You have exactly three minutes. Starting now. A power box at the entrance. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll hurry up. Owen, oh, by the way, if you can't make it in that time, and neither will your sister. Wait, you mustn't hurt her. I'll find that damn power box. Okay, so there's a, a power box near the entrance of the park. Um, Samantha's number. 555-2368. The power box was at the entrance to the park. Am I on the right track? I think so. I'm not allowed to run, am I? He said I'm not allowed to run, didn't he? This is the entrance, isn't it? I mean, I can't really remember where the entrance is. So, have you done it yet? I'm almost there. Hold on. I think this is the entrance. Where's the entrance? This isn't the entrance. Dram blast! Where's the flipping entrance? <sighs> This is going well. He told me not to run, but I don't care. Do what I want. Maybe I should just start cutting off a little bit of her already. What do you say? I mean, I may no, What's wait. wrong with you? I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Leave her alone, you fucking psychopath. Street workout. Sounds like a blast. Bro, this park is huge. It's massive. Mate, I, I hope this is the right way. Yep. Yeah. Entrance south. Good, good, good. It's alright. I'm nearly there. I got. I think I got two minutes left. It was on twenty-one twenty-two. Uh, Do I have three minutes? Say goodbye to you. No. Wait. Give me a little more time. Sam. Uh, uh, uh. Sam. I have to find Sam. Sam. I have to find Sam. New quest, Sam question mark. That wasn't three minutes. You know what I mean? Sam? Wait. But how can that be? Sam, where are you? Are you okay? Wow, wait. I know we haven't seen each other for a long time, but no need to shout like that, Alex. <laughs> but I was just... Hey, you just got released today. Please don't overexert yourself. Where are you anyway? I'm kind of lost in this park. I'm near the south entrance. Oh, I was just there too. You just have to... Sam! Classic. Sam! Fucking hell. Chuffin Muff! Right, what, what do we... Sam. What the... Here we go. Investigate the street light. What's Inve happening? Investigating! Are you looking for me, Alex? Where are you? I'm here, Alex. Where, you tosser? I can't see you anywhere. Alex. Turn around, Alex. Oi! What was that? Uh, 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 uh. Wow. We're going to pass out. Okay. I remember for years I was trampled on. I was bullied, beaten, kicked, laughed at and excluded from everything. All my life I was an outsider. 
But my family, especially Sam, were the only ones who believed in me. I was so, so sick of being put down by everyone that I decided to change my image. It's funny how someone like me always had a dream of owning a Mustang. A car that screams self-confidence. And guzzles fuel. But when I turned 25, that dream came true. And I was so desperate to prove to Sam that she had a cool brother that she could be proud of. I was absolutely sure I could do it. But then... You crashed the car! My head. Where am I? Who's this? Bro! Excuse me, have you seen a girl with brown hair? About 1.6 meters tall? Sorry, can you hear me? You're on Spice! I'm looking for my sister, Sam. She wanted to meet me here in the park, but I can't find her. Hey, is everything okay? I think I'd better leave you alone. Yeah. Have a nice evening. He's the one to talk. I've seen you walking around the park though, mate. Yeah, whatever you're doing, just you know, just sit there. Just chill. Alright, okay. Um What happened? Spooky stuff! Power's off. I think electricity's gone out. Uh I saw a power box somewhere. Shall we have a look? What do you mean we? Where are you? Check the power box. Was that? Didn't he say that was by the entrance? What the heck? What's going on in this park? So the power box is apparently by the entrance. It's actually absolutely pitch black, apart from the moonlight. What's that? That's the phone box. Phone booth. Alright. Uh, entrance north is down here. I think we might have some joy if we go for the power box entrance at the entrance. I mean, he did say earlier on in the game that it was in the entrance. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping it's down there. There's not too much faffing about and riffraff. Now, this is entrance north, isn't it? Is there a power box here? Down... Down the side, maybe? It's so dark. What? What's, what's going on? I had to close my eyes and do what I was taught in the clinic. Take a deep breath and exhale deeply again. There we go. Oh, mate, you've got that anxiety management technique all down to the T, haven't you, eh? So I guess when you start seeing spooky stuff, you can just close your eyes and breathe and it'll go away. Mate, where am I going? I'm just walking around the outside of the... That sounded nice. There's got to be a power box around here somewhere. He did say the entrance. I'm trying to follow these this wall around so I can get to an entrance. I think this is the entrance here. Yeah. yeah, there's the van that was by the entrance. Okay. Um... Give it some, give it some breathiness. Right. Uh, there's, there's literally nothing. I, I can't. Oh, what's this? Footprints. Where do they lead? Can I take the flashlight instead of using my phone? No? Oh, great. I'm not going to follow the darn footprints. Oh, look, it goes in here. There? Someone's left the door open. Yes, the is power this box. Where the electricity is controlled. It looks like it, mate. Oh, and it, like okay. A switch is missing. A switch is missing. Fantastic. Someone's definitely here to sabotage the power box. I should follow the footprints. What we got here, though? Operation White Wine Veil Park. We need to save the park. Manipulate the power box. Manipulate, destroy. Weird. Ninth of June, Jimmy. 10th of June, Timmy, and 11th of June, Lenny. Jimmy, Timmy, and Lenny, the heroes of the park. 
Three brothers who went to Winevale Middle School together chose the summer holidays of 2019 to do something incredible. The big park near the clinic for the mentally disturbed people was set to be demolished by Stephen Marshall, the president of Marshall Industries, in order for him to build a new holiday home there. However, the three boys loved the park and wanted to defend it by all means necessary. While, being, while open talks and protests only led them to being ridiculed, the brothers decided there was only one solution. Help had to be brought in from another world. Ah, oh, even messing with some some demonic stuff, messing with the spiritual. One night, the three of them decided to make a plan to drive the construction team out using something paranormal. They coordinated so that only one of the three brothers would be up to mischief each night. It was only yesterday, 10th of June 2020, a full 10 months later, that this became known through a video uploaded to We Watch by Timmy, one of the three brothers. In the video, he talks about how much he cares about the park and would do anything to protect it. The Winevale community wholeheartedly thanks the three brothers for pulling off this miracle. Stephen Marshall has a bad reputation since the beginning of his leadership due to manipulative actions and corruption. Mr. Anderson, with this letter, the Wine Veil community bids you farewell. Okay, time to take a breath. Someone's creepy breathing. Fix the electricity. Right, so I need to find a red switch. Oh, mate, look at that. I need to find a red switch somewhere. Where would the heck would that be? Somewhere in this flipping park. I need to fo keep following the footprints. What do I... What happened to Sam? Is she dead? Did, you, did I crash my car? My sister's actually dead. He said he had a Mustang and then he... Something happened. Do you think he... Crashed it, right? No. Do you think he crashed it? And she died in the crash? And he can't let go of it? He's got PTSD. Some residual guilt, maybe. What the hell? Cheers for that. Flipping locking me in, you burk. <laughs> Oi! Oi! Seigneur! Hey, stop it. Let me the fuck out. Bro, you mean. Bro! I need to get out of here. Just keep doing your breathing exercises, you'll be fine. How do we get out of here? Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, hang on. Go on, give it, give it a kick, bro. Come on, give it some welly. That's it. Excellent. Right, follow these back. Now I need to go back to the thing and put the electric electricity back on. Well, I'm going the right way. Good, 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 good. Excellent. Right, here's the shed. The Shed of Light. Right, okay, so now we've got to work out. Okay, so it's it could be that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. What do I do? It knocks them out. But hang on, it said manipulate and destroy. So if I just do... I guess, I guess the... Shut up. Number two and number three. Those two. In red. How about that? Oh, that worked. So do I just do those two? Fix the electricity. I fixed the electricity, haven't I? Is there an... Um... Like a, I mean, if I turn these off, I could turn that on that whole time, but that's weird because I oh, wait. Are, they, are the colours of their shirts supposed to signify anything? Red, green, and yellow. No. Oh, maybe, okay, Jimmy, Timmy, Lenny, so that's the order. 
Jimmy, Timmy, so green, red, yellow. Yes! I'm a genius. I'm an absolutely low-key genius. Got a message. You did it. I'm at the phone booth right now. Meet me there. Spooky. I got a map. There it is. I can see the phone booth. Excellent. I knew it was by the pond. Hello, mate. You okay? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Right. Where is she? You're so pathetic, Alex. You're running away from reality. Is that me? What do you mean? Who are you? The accident should have killed you, Alex. Look at you. Yeah, he crashed his car. There's no spark of joy left in those eyes. You're a hopeless case. A failure. How do you know, Mike? What the hell is going on here? Who the hell are you? I'm you from the future. Darius, that, but you I know. I have imagined that. Okay, right. What we got here? Nothing. Right. Oh my God! What? Who are you? I've got to get out of here. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh. <laughs> that was good. Great work. I haven't quest his escape. What? You just stabbed me and then... Escape. Alright. Where am I escaping to? Oh look, it's the phone, the phone booth and the, it's completely off now. Oh! <laughs> I'm being chased! By a guy in a creepy mask! I have to hide. Hide in the powerhouse. Hide in the powerhouse? I don't remember where that is. Oh, is it down here? No, I don't think it is. Oh, crap. What am I doing? Where am I going? Ah, he's right by me! Alright, uh, powerhouse, powerhouse, powerhouse. It's by the pond. What? gone. It's in the construction site, isn't it? The powerhouse. That's what he said, isn't it? Hide in the powerhouse? Did you mean this powerhouse? I can't remember where it is. I have no idea where I'm going. Well, this is the... Uh... This is an entrance. I mean, it's telling me to escape, but oh, mate, this guy's a weirdo. Do you think he's just a figment of my imagination? I don't know. I didn't even know where I am again. Now, flipping heck, how do I escape? This is some crazy. Am I just some crazy dude running around a park at night? If I could find the footprints again. It would take me to the power box. Powerhouse. He, when he says powerhouse, does he mean the place where I turn the electricity on? He must do. Can I escape through the construction site? Is that something that I can do? Can I get in a truck? Hang on, there's footprints leading to this thing. Here. Right. What? How can it be like this? It was already open. I need to call Sam. That was a very long, drawn-out process. Hello? Sam, listen to me. There's something running around in the park. I don't know what it is, but it's got a knife in its hand and it's following me. I was trying to hide in the powerhouse, but the door's locked. Oh, okay. I just saw something that looked like a key. I'm near the construction site right now. Really? Okay. I'm coming. Hide somewhere and don't move.
New objective, find the key. Back to the construction site. Oh, I've got to deal with you as well. It's on there. Got to keep giving this guy the run around until he goes away. So he's come back to the construction site. And the key's on the digger. You finished? Oh, he's gone. Absolute wad. Go away. Let me just go and grab the key. Like, if he if he comes back and tries to get me again before I've got the key. I'll be very, very annoyed. Excellent. Right, let's go back. Right, follow the footprints from this thing here. Yeah. Yeah, right. Use the key, get in. Woo! Okay, do my little blinky thing. Try and regain some sanity. Fuck off. Yeah, F off, bro. You're annoying. Get to the powerhouse quickly. I'll wait for you here and open the door as soon as you get there. The powerhouse? The one next to the entrance, right? I'm on my way. Please open the door for me as soon as I get there. I should have given her a password. Is that blood on the wall? This was be shot in the head or something. How do I know it's going to be Sam? Oh, shoot. Really? Please open the door. Oh, thank God. No, what are we at? No. <laughs> when I was in the hospital, it quickly became clear that something had happened to me. I started seeing things I wasn't supposed to see and behaving strangely. Once my wounds had healed, I was sent straight to the mental health clinic. I was supposed to learn to live with my new self there, but something, something kept stopping me. I have only bad memories from my time in that clinic, but the same nightmare made me feel worse day after day. I felt like a criminal. Okay, so they're releasing chapters. Right, okay. Okay, so the, uh, chapter three is coming soon. All right. Mm. It's okay. The, the the creep chasing is a bit annoying, but it's it's it's. Uh, I'm I'm eager to know what's going on. Um, why, when Sam knocks on the door and said it was me, Sam, there's a killer stood there with a knife. Yeah, and I wonder how there's any correlation to the letter we found and the the mum that was buried bizarrely in the park. I don't know whether that's any relevance to it. But um, yeah, so when chapter three comes out, I guess we'll do that. Um, I thought this was going to be the full one, but there we go. So anyway, that was Psych. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to support. And uh, comment down below what you think about the game. And if you want me to do chapter three when it comes out or not. Uh, but for now, guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one.